They call you Big News Hoosh for a reason. What a performance. How did you get the job done against AJ McKee? Um, I mean, I got the win. I don't know what job done. I wanted to finish, but at the end of the day, I think I hurt him pretty bad. I got the dub. Nobody's finished AJ or even come close to it. Um, yeah, it's, I'm happy. If that first round goes an extra 10 seconds, do you think you finish him? Yeah, 100%. That right knee. Oh, I mean, I literally, as I was telling the guys earlier, I predicted the right knee all camp. I have a YouTube video sitting unlisted, ready to go on my YouTube. A full on breakdown of how I'm going to knock him out with the right knee. And I was this close. Very close. I can't even post it now. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned training camp wasn't perfect. What was the issues? I'm not getting into specifics. Mm. Sometimes training camps just don't go well. Mm. It's normal. I've been there before. I pulled it out of the bag before. I, I'm usually the fittest guy in the room. Fighting's obviously different. When I finished the first round, I know I nearly had him hurting. It was high pace. Mm. I could bear, it took me a while to clear the lactate. You know, I, I 100% would have got him out of there. I knew the shots were there. I was so close a couple of times. I just was a little bit heavy. Yeah. Maybe. Excuse me, maybe it didn't look like that on camera, but I... Excuse me, sorry, I'm just drinking a lot of water. And maybe it didn't look like that on camera, but it is what it is, you know. I still beat the bollocks clean out of him, yeah. so whatever. And impeccable in the cage, impeccable on the mic as well. You made your intentions very clear what you want next. Not many people in the lightweight division call for the Michael Vendor, but that's what you want in Dubai in 2025. Will that happen? 100% that's going to happen. That's what the people want to see. That's what they want to see here. At the end of the day, who's done that to AJ McKee? You know, I'm confident I'll get uh, Usman out of there. Usman's nowhere near as good a striker as AJ was. And I mean, look what I've done to him. So I think over five rounds as well, that suits me better as well. So Usman is 100% next. Yeah. And in terms of, can we see a walkout? Because when it comes to young Irish fighters, it's impossible not to be compared to Conor McGregor. If that fight does happen in 2025, can we maybe see McGregor walking you out and be walking him out? I mean, that would be an honor. <laughs> They might need some extra security on that night. You know, they might need the whole army of the UAE there to make sure everyone goes smooth, but that would be cool. I mean, imagine having the GOAT, Conor McGregor, walk me out, or even in the corner, versus uh, Dagestan, Ireland versus Dagestan number two. Sounds good to me. Usman obviously has had his issues when it comes to the PED side of the mm -hmm. game. You had your comments on that in the in the scrum a couple of days ago. What, yeah. what do you make of that? Interesting, you know, I'm gonna have to look into that more to see exactly what that was. I'm gonna 100% request stricter drug, drug tests, and I think that there needs to be more drug testing in general across this this sport. I, it's something I'll have to look into. If there's a strict drug testing policy, then I'll be making sure that it'll have to be in the contract, though. Yeah. And finally, for me, I'm a Nipsey Hustle stand. Yeah. You came out Nipsey Hustle. Obviously, been doing this. Been doing this. It's been the walkout for a while. Victory lap. And I'm on my victory lap. Right that's what now. I was gonna ask you, mate. The album's called Victory Lap. What does a Paul Hughes victory lap look like? How are you going to celebrate this win? It looks like right now, you know, I'm resting this moment. My team over the moon sitting there with little coffees in their hand. Yeah. We're going to sit up to the leaders and just talk about this whole journey. That's what a victory lap looks like to me, you know, to go out and meet my followers, meet my friends who have traveled over here, call my mum and dad. Mm. That's good enough for me. That's a victory lap, you know. Can we just shine some light on your team? I've been in with them in the team hotel um, or in the fighters hotel. They've had their game faces on, as have you. How important are your team in terms of your success? Look, bro, they're the reason I'm here. You know, these are not only my coaches, but my best mates as well. Yeah. And that's unbelievably important in this game is to have people that care for you because it's a long term game and it's a hard game. So these people care for me and I'm doing it for them in there as well.